Assalamualaikum and good morning. We continue our lesson for English language form one with page starting from page sixteen to seventeen and eighteen. Sixteen to eighteen. Okay. So let's uh, open your textbooks on page sixteen. Integrated skills. And an activity can looking for adventure. So this is the picture and text for uh, at some activities that is uh, adventurous. So I will as usual. I want you to read the advert and answer the questions. For example, question one: Who can sign up for an adventure weekend? When are the adventure weekends? How long do they last? How much do they cost? Where do the teenagers stay? So you can find the answers in this text. For example, who can sign up for an adventure and an adventure weekend? Okay, who the person? So. The answer should be young people aged from 13 to 16 years old. So this, that's the answer for question 1. When are the adventure weekends? So you can find the answer here. The adventure weekends is in September or October. How long do they last? The answer should be here. Two and a half days. Two and a half days. It will last for two and a half days. So, you answer the question four and question five by your own. Question two. Would you like to go an adventure weekend? Why not? So, uh, please answer these questions using your own word. Either you like to go for an adventure weekend. If yes, give uh, an elaboration for your answer. Uh, if not, you also have to give the elaboration. Okay? Huraikan. Why you don't like to go for an adventure weekend? So for step two, uh, for question three, I will play the audio 1.18 to listen. You have to listen to a phone conversation about the Greenwood Activity Camp. Which three activities does Owen mention in this phone conversation? So I will play the audio for you. One point one eight. Unit one. Integrated skills. At an activity camp. Exercise three. Hi, Joe. Hi, Owen. How's it going? Fine. Listen. I've just seen something that sounds really interesting. Oh yeah? What's that? It's an advert for adventure weekends at an activity camp for teenagers this autumn. Ugh, sounds boring. Why do you say that? You're into sports and stuff. It's just your kind of thing. But doing group activities with people you don't like? Not me. We do that at school. Oh, come on. How do you know you won't like the other people? Anyway, you don't get the chance to do things like this at school. Yeah, so what kind of things? Sailing, photography, parkour. Parkour? Can you do parkour at this place? Yeah, and not only that, I'm looking at their website now and it says that one of the tutors is a famous parkour expert. Oh wow! It's starting to sound interesting now. 
Can you give me the website address? And I'll have a look. Okay, that is the audio for the phone conversation between uh, Owen and what's his name? I forgot already. So, uh, for question three, which three activities does Owen mention? Okay, one of the activities should be the sailing. So, what the other two activities? You have to find out the answer. And for question four, listen and choose the correct answers. Okay, so you have to listen again to the audio and answer the, these questions. Question one, Owen thinks that the camp will be boring or interesting. Which one? Okay, at first, Owen thinks the camp will be boring. Okay, that's the answer. Huh? No. Owen think the camp will be interesting after he heard about the parkour activities. Okay. So, I leave for you to answer question 2 and question until question 5 by your own. Then, we go to the next page. Page 17. It's about asking for personal information. So, for question 5, I will play an audio 1.19. Listen to Chris registering for an adventure weekend. Copy and complete 1 to 4. Okay, 1 to 4 means here, what's the, uh, uh, the conversation, a dialogue for the, this conversation 1. 2, 3, and 4. So I will play the audio for 1.19. Unit 1. Integrated Skills. Asking for Personal Information. Exercise 5. Hello. I'd like to register for one of your adventure weekends. Okay. Great. I just need a few details from you. What's your name? Chris Bradley. And what's your address, Chris? It's 21 Ash Road. OK. What's your mobile phone number? 766-892-1000. Have you got an email address? Yes, it's chris at inmail.co.uk Can you spell that for me? Yes, it's c-h-r-i-s at i-n-m-a-i-l dot c-o dot u-k Great. Thanks. Oh, I nearly forgot. What's your date of birth? The 4th of April, 1999. OK, great. Here's a leaflet for you with more information about the camp. OK, that's the audio for the conversation between... Uh, Chris and the organizer for the adventure camp. We'll go to the questions six. Listen again. Listen again. And repeat. Practice your intonations. So this uh, you can do this by your own. And for the skills builder, giving your email address and phone number. So in English, we say at for the symbols uh, like that, A, sign, and dot for the dot mark. So we write phone number like this, the 220785. You can say the phone number like this, double 20785. So that's the uh, tips for you to make a conversation, how to speak, how to pronounce the symbols and the, the numbers for your phone. So for question 7, 
Right. Copy the questions in bold and write your answers. Then look at the advert again and choose two activities that you would like to do. So copy the question again. The question should be here e for the organizer dialogs box. What's your address? What's your phone number? Have you got an email address? What's your date of birth? Okay, and so on. So uh, you find your answers, your own answers, your own birth, date of birth, your own email address, your own interest uh, for the activities. Then, with the answers and the questions, write a new dialogue for, uh, for activity 8. Question 8, write a new dialogue, use the dialogue in exercise 5 to help you. Okay, uh, beginning, beginning with the hello. I like to register for some of your activities, adventure activities this weekend. For example, okay, great. What's your name? My name is, so just uh, write your name, uh, just copy and paste and replace the uh, information related to you. For page 18, it's a writing exercise, a personal profile, all about me. It is Claire Edwards. So I will play the audio for question one, read and listen to the profile, then answer the questions. I audio 1.20. 1.20, sorry. Unit 1. Writing. A personal profile. Exercise 1. All about me. Hi. My name's Claire Edwards and I'm 14 years old. I'm from Cardiff in Wales. I live with my mum and dad and my 12-year-old brother Sam, who's a big computer fan. My best friends are Holly and Anita. I love music. I listen to music all the time. And I play the guitar in a band with some of my friends. We're called the Daisies. And we play rock and pop music. I write the songs. But I don't like singing because I'm shy. I'm writing a new song at the moment. I also love going shopping because I'm really into fashion. My favourite colour is green, so I've got lots of green clothes. I'm not very sporty, but I sometimes go rollerblading in the park. Okay, that's the audio for the Claire Edwards about what she hates, what she likes, what uh, the information about his uh, family, uh, her family, okay? So, by listening to the profile and the audio, I want you to answer the question one, why does Claire not like singing? Okay, the answer should be because she is shy. When she is shy, so she don't like to sing. Why does Claire love going shopping? Okay. Why does Claire love going shopping? Okay. Claire love going shopping because she's really into fashion. She also she loves to go for shopping because she really into short fashion and her color or her favorite color is green so that's the answer for question three why does claire have lots of green clothes because her favorite color is green okay question two look at the writing focus how do you say because and so in your language okay just uh, read the notes there we use because when we give reason for something for example i also love going shopping because 
I'm really into fashion. We use so when we talk about the result of something. For example, My favorite color is green. So, I've got a lot of green clothes. Okay? So, you have to... You must be able to differentiate between the use of because and the use of so in your text or in your sentence. So, for exercise 3, copy and complete the notes about Claire. Nationality, friends, family members, like and dislikes. So, for question 4, read the writing, focus again. Complete the sentence, complete the sentences with because or so. Number one, I'm an animal lover. So, I've got a lot of pets. Huh. I just give you the answer. So, I've got a lot of pets. Question two, I like dancing because it is fun. So, the answer should be because. Question three and question four, I will leave to you to answer by your own. So, for the writing task, uh, actually, this task has been done by you in the previous uh, task. But I want you to uh, make it in a proper sentence. Okay? By using all the grammar that we have learned about the simple Present, present simple, present continuous, and because and so in your uh, in your writing, so that you will uh, apply all the grammar that we have learned previously. Plan, make notes like the ones in exercise three about you. Okay, what's your nationality, your friends, your family members, like and dislike, and you can add some more extra uh, information about you. And then, please use the present simple, present continuous, and because, and so in your writing. 